Learning Platforms E-learning possibilities includes learning platforms, which are also called e-learning platforms or learning management systems. These are actually software programs which are available on the web. They allow the teachers to design their own internet-delivered material for business communication or business English learners. And they create interfaces for e-learning to be carried out. Uh, um, the learning platforms may involve uh, designing of courses, delivery of the content, controlling access rights for different users, class email discussion groups, text chats, etc. And also allow the uh, trainer or the tutor to carry out evaluation of uh, learner participation and of their tests. The advantages of uh, learning platforms are that uh, teachers or uh, the, the teacher or the school does not have to invest in the software development program because it is already available on the web. You simply have to buy a license in order to use it. Then it uh, offers a customized interface uh, for the between the tutor or the trainer and the learners. Uh, there are times when the teachers want to use their own content online. Uh, there are two ways in order to do this. One is to uh, for the teachers to translate their documents into HTML, which is a format that can be read by the web browser such as a Microsoft Explorer or Mozilla Firefox. Uh, another uh, way is that you use the authoring devices which are available on the web. There are packages which are provided by Clarity or Hot Potatoes, which allow the creation of activities like crosswords or drag and drop exercises. And they can be used easily without too much um, expertise involved and they are reasonably painless. Uh, however, there are limitations to uh, uh, the learning platforms. Uh, for example, normally such packages have a set number of exercise types. So uh, when there are longer courses involved, then learners may get bored looking at the same type of exercise. Uh, worksheets, uh, however, worksheets can be produced in this way, which could be delivered via an internet or an intranet website or on CD-ROM. The learners simply have to click on the correct answers and listen and check, as it is shown in this screenshot. The material needs to be written in a format which could be downloaded quickly and easily. Often, the use of different choices of technology um, uh, is involved, a choice between which software is to be used for the listening part and which is to be used for the reading part, for example. Other disadvantages are uh, that people, uh, teachers as well as learners, uh, might be technophobes and they would uh, require a lot of extensive uh, support in order to use the technology. Um, and also, uh, a lot of uh, effort is required for a group to uh, get together for online learning for all of them to be on the same page. Also, there are issues of control involved. How is the teacher to ensure that the quiet, uh, that the quiet learners um, are involved in the discussion or the other learners are working on their own? Also, uh, learners can get easily frustrated by using uh, these platforms. Uh, computers are not intuitive uh, uh, things. They, cannot, uh, they can only tell you what the mistake you have made, but not tell you what exactly is that mistake. Um, besides this, business people already spend a lot of time on the computers. So uh, when they're asked to learn English on the computer, perhaps uh, they, they do not welcome the idea. Sometimes the right technology is not available in some cases. Uh, companies and schools uh, sometimes do not have sound cards installed in every computer. So learners do not come to uh, know uh, about uh, the sounds uh, which are involved in language learning. Users of those machines will not be able, uh, therefore, to access uh, the audio recordings of the lessons.